Okay, you guys, stilettos today. Now, I know that you may have a love-hate relationship with them like I used to, but today I'm gonna show you some things that were kind of challenges for me when I was learning how to do stilettos. So hopefully these will help with your applications and make your, um, make your applications a little bit easier for you, okay? First thing that I wanna start talking about with stilettos is your form application. This is the biggest challenge that I think a lot of people have because it's a little bit different from just doing a regular square nail, okay? It's even a little different than a coffin shape nail, okay? What we're gonna do though, we're gonna start out your prep like normal, push back the cuticles, remove the shine, um, cleanse the nail, apply your protein bond, do all of those things first. So when you're applying your forms, okay, the first thing I wanna make sure is that I'm pinching together my form nice and evenly together so that those two silver tabs meet evenly, okay? That's, I know it seems like kind of a, you know, maybe an easy thing, but I think a lot of times we get in a hurry and we pop out our little tab, we stick it on the back, and then we get our form together and it goes on a little bit crooked, okay? Now, it doesn't seem like a big thing, but when you put that form on, if it goes on crooked, that nail is gonna end up crooked. So you always wanna make sure first and foremost that you're getting your form and um, pinched together nice and evenly, okay? When you're doing a stiletto, you're gonna pinch that end just nice and tight right at the end there, and you're gonna bring that form up underneath the nail, and you're gonna rock it down, okay? Now, here's one of the challenges that I didn't quite understand when I started doing stilettos, is when you're doing a normal square, kind of even a coffin-shaped nail, you're gonna use the lines going across the form to help you guide, um, to help as a guide for your length, and then with a square, you're gonna use those lines going down the form as your sides and kind of your um, kind of your outline on the sides. Now, when you're working with a stiletto, you're not gonna necessarily use those lines on the sides to give you that straight side. What you're actually gonna do is if you look from the side, okay, you first of all wanna make sure that your form is coming either straight out from that nail or even just slightly angled down, just slightly, okay? You don't want it curved down this much, but just maybe a slight curve, especially if you're gonna shorten the nails up a little bit, and I'll show you why in just a second, okay? But what I want you to look at is if I pinch this form together, and I'm hoping that you can see this well on camera, is there's a little bit of a light reflection line. That's gonna be your guide, not those lines going down the form. You're gonna see that that light reflection is gonna go from the corner to the point of your form. So that right there, is gonna be your guide, okay? So make sure that you have that kind of in your mind that that's where you're gonna build the structure of the nail. You're not using those lines on the form, okay? Now, if you're gonna do more of an almond-shaped nail or um, you, know, you want a shorter stiletto, uh, what we're gonna do is pinch that form a little bit shorter. You're still gonna use that light reflection as your guide, but now be careful. And this is another thing that I had a challenge with, is when I went shorter, what actually happens is that by pinching that form together, it actually will raise up the end of that form. So instead of coming straight out where you need it, okay, that form is actually going up at a little bit more of a ski slope, okay? So what you wanna make sure that you're doing is if you do pinch that form a little shorter, you bring that form down just a little bit so that point of our nail is now again even with our natural nail, okay? So that point should never be higher than what your natural nail is. I'm gonna show you, just kind of exaggerating this just so you get a really good visual. Okay, again, this is exaggerated, but I want you to really see that point of your form should never be higher than that natural nail. Okay, so it should never be ski sloping up. Just to give you a little bit of an idea, what can happen is when you pinch that form and it's coming up at the end, I'm gonna show you two nails here, okay? So I've sculpted these out. Now this nail was done with my form placement properly, okay? It should be flat underneath. I should be able to hold, you know, once I do all my filing and finishing, I should be able to hold my file flat up underneath 
that C curve. Okay, that's going to be your proper structure. Now, if you had your form like this where it was tilted upwards, what's going to happen is you're going to end up filing and you're going to have a little gap or an opening at the end of that nail. Okay, that's not going to give you the proper structure, especially if you're doing those really long, really pointed stilettos. Um, if you end up taking out that structure, that point has more of a tendency to either wear off or break off. Okay, so you want to make sure again that your form is coming straight out so that you get that nice flush surface, not that opening at the end. Okay, so that's kind of the first challenges that people tend to have with forms. Now, another challenge that can lead into another challenge is if you're not pinching your form curved enough, okay? So we get our form on here. So a lot of times what can happen is people will pinch their forms together, they'll get their two little silver tabs down and they'll pinch just right here. They'll pinch just right here at the point and they don't worry about this area right through here, okay? So what we wanna make sure is happening is when you get that form on, you rock it down, what tends to happen a lot of times is people will pinch it together at the free edge, they'll pinch it together onto the finger, but they leave it wide on the sides here, okay? What that's gonna give you is actually a wide flared stiletto. So let me take these out. I have one sculpted out here that I'm hoping you guys can see. It looks a little bit more curved um, and kind of kind of a, like a fat stiletto. So it's not very streamlined on the sides. And yes, we're gonna file it. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But if you don't pinch that form together underneath, you're gonna have that wide stiletto. So what I wanna make sure that you're doing, pinch together at the free edge, hold it onto the nail here, but then also coming from underneath the nail and pinching that form together. So that way you're gonna get that really nice tight C curve through that whole extension, okay? Now, what can happen is if we end up with a wide nail like this, this is another challenge that people tend to have, is they'll come in and they'll do their filing and they think, oh, this nail is too wide. So what do they do? They file, okay? It makes sense. If it's too wide, you feel like you should file. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna file that in. So a lot of times people will just come in, they'll file, they'll file, they'll file, they'll file. They'll come in with their hand file and they'll file and file and file, okay? You're gonna do a lot of filing if you do it like this, first of all. But what's a lot of times what ends up happening, because that nail started off so wide, people tend to feel like they need to take a lot out. So they come underneath and they don't necessarily get their, um, their lower arches right. Because that nail is so wide, they tend to file at an angle, okay? They're trying to make that nail nice and narrow, they're trying to make it really nice and pointed, which is great, but if they're not filing properly, what's gonna happen is A, you're gonna take out your lower arches, and B, you're gonna start to cut in on the sides. Okay, I'm gonna, again, exaggerate this a little bit more so you can really see. So what they tend to do is they file at a V, but they're keeping their file at a V shape too, okay? They're cutting in on the sides to make that nail narrow. What you wanna make sure that you're doing is keeping your file perpendicular to that nail. You're not cutting in at an angle like this, okay? What happens is people tend to try to make that nail nice and tapered and nice and pointy, but when you start out with that nail too wide on the sides, a lot of times what can happen is if you don't have the proper file position, people will tend to file in at the wrong angle. Now, yes, that does taper it, but it has also taken away our lower arch, okay? Our lower arch should come all the way down to here, okay? Can you see that gap in there? That's where our lower arch should be. So as you're filing, okay, as you're filing, instead of filing at an angle like this, 
you want to make sure that your file is perpendicular to that nail. So that way you're filing straight along the side. You're not taking out your lower arch at this point, okay? You want to file that straight, okay? And then you're going to turn so that you can see exactly where that product is coming out from. You're going to put your file right at the free edge and you're going to file again with your file straight in line with that nail. Okay. Now, because our form was so wide at the sides, that's what starts this challenge. So make sure that you're pinching that form together really tight underneath. Now, if you didn't get your form tight underneath and you're sculpting your product on, let me show you what's gonna happen. So if I get my form on there and it's a little too wide and I sculpt that product on, it's gonna go on wide. So as I'm putting my product on, it does look like my form's a little wide so my nail is going to end up wide, okay? We want to make sure that we're pinching properly to get that really good structure. So again, if you did put your form on a little too wide, you can still fix it once the, um, once the product is on there and a little bit set. So as you're working and you're noticing that it seems a little bit wide, you can wait a little bit until that product is in more of a molding stage. So you can see right now, it looks fairly wet, it looks fairly shiny. So this is definitely not the time to pinch your C-curve. So we're gonna wait until that product looks a little bit more dull and it's gonna feel a little bit spongy, okay? You wanna be careful that you're not pinching too quickly because you can squish and make your nail lopsided, you can pop the form off. So there is kind of a, a set time that you wanna do this. And I'm gonna show you how you're gonna know. So I think we're at the point of kind of that molding stage where my product is no longer shiny. It's no longer wet looking. If I kind of feel the surface of it, it feels kind of velvety almost. So I always try to feel the surface of it before I start pinching, just to make sure that I know it's not too, um, too soft or spongy. So again, I'm, I can kind of feel that's about right. Now you can use our magic wand, but the magic wand is only gonna pinch into the stress area right up in here. When we're working on a stiletto, it's not gonna be able to pinch that V shape into our nail. So what I like to do is I'm gonna use either my two pointers, my two thumbs, my two middle fingers, the same finger on both hands, because this way you're gonna get even pressure. Sometimes if you use your pointer and your thumb, you're gonna get more pressure with your thumb or more pressure with your pointer finger and it's actually gonna push it a little bit lopsided. So you're gonna come in and just start to press into that more rounded shape or more curved shape. Okay. We're not really concerned about um, touching the product. It's all, all of that liquid has absorbed into our powder and the chemical reaction has started to uh, process. So we're not worried about getting monomer on our skin or anything like that. So this is very safe to do. All right, so again, we're gonna get that nice and pressed in. So now you can see, again, my form has kind of come in a little bit more and I've also brought that shape in a little bit more narrow, okay? So this way we're not gonna have to file those sides as much and we're gonna get that really nice tight curve to our extension. Okay, so those are a couple of challenges that people have with the forms and their application. Now here's the biggest challenge that I really didn't understand about stilettos is their maintenance. Now maintenance on a stiletto is not the same as what you're gonna do maintenance wise for just a regular straight nail, square nail, um, rounded or almond shaped nail it's gonna be a little bit different. So for maintenance of our stiletto nails, now I've sculpted out some nice long stilettos just to give you a really good idea. Now, when your client comes back after two weeks, maybe three weeks or so if she's on a three week schedule, your, your nail is gonna still be in proper structure. So your arch is still gonna be kind of right where you need it. It has grown out slightly, but it's not grown out as much as you would need you know, for doing a rebalance, okay? So in that two to three week fill, you're gonna do your prep. You're gonna prep that natural nail. You're going to fill with just a small pearl right in the back, okay? So when you're filling a stiletto, 
Again, just a small pearl right in that cuticle area. Okay. Now, when they come back another two to three weeks later, what they're going to need is a rebalance. So again, if you look at this nail, you're going to see that my arch has definitely grown out significantly. It's not positioned where it needs to be. Okay. So in our rebalance, we're going to need to reposition that arch. So we're going to pick up a larger pearl so that we can fill in from the cuticle all the way through that arch that needs to be replaced. So your sizing on that pearl is going to be probably about double of what we picked up for our regular fill. Okay. So about that amount of product. So that's going to fill in that whole cuticle and arch area. Now, here's where the tricky part comes in. And this is what I really did not understand is when your client comes back another two to three weeks later after that, what's going to happen is, so we talked about pinching our forms together nice and tight to get that really good C curve under here. Okay. And we've got a really nice tight pinch down at the free edge. Now, if your client comes in, a lot of times at this point, they're going to want those nails shortened if they didn't shorten already. So you're going to shorten that nail up, but in order to come back to that nice stiletto shape, you're going to need to take your sides in. Now here's the challenge. Your curve, the curve of the nail here is, I'm going to just show with my hand. So the curve of the nail right here at your natural free edge is a wider curve. Okay. Out to the free edge, so down at the point of the nail, is a really tight curve. Okay, so as your nail grows out, that that wide curve at that kind of that stress area is growing out to that point. Okay, if you try to take off your sides and just file that nail more narrow, what's happening is you still have that wide curve. You're just going to be taking off those sides. You still have more of a flat curve you're not having that really tight pinch right through here. Okay. So what can happen is as you file, you're actually going to file into that sidewall. Now I've left my thumbnail here for you guys to see, and this is actually what happens. Okay. I want to make sure that you guys really see this. So I'm going to pull my skin back. So what I've done on mine, I've kind of come in and I've shortened my nail and I filed in the sides. So what's happened is I've actually filed out that arch to my nail. So my natural lower arch should be down to here, but because I've um, come in and filed those sides, it's actually filed into that arch. Okay. So how do we fix it? When your clients come in in two weeks, they're going to do that regular fill in four to six weeks. You're going to do that rebalance. After that, their fill after that, you're actually going to want to clip off that free edge, put a form back on and re-sculpt that nail. So let me show you how. Okay, we're going to go through. You always want to make sure that you're able to see where their hyponychium is underneath so that you're not clipping into that. You're going to clip off that extension. Okay. Go through and what I like to do is kind of taper down my product just a little bit. So I'm going to come through kind of that arch area and just taper that down so I can rebuild that connection. Okay, I'm going to just kind of round that out. You don't necessarily have to get a perfect shape to that free edge. Okay. You're going to go through reprep. Okay, so if you are doing that fill area, you're going to switch to that arbor band. You're going to turn your speed down to about four to 6,000 RPMs. You're going to reprep that cuticle area, reprep the surface of that nail. Okay. And then at this point, I'm going to dust the nail off. Let's give it just a little bit, clean up that shape just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do like to take in those sides a little bit so that again, I can get that really nice tight pinch to my form and not have to worry about that natural nail kind of poking out to the sides. Okay. So again, dust that off, cleanse with swipe. 
You're gonna apply your protein bond, two coats of your protein bond, again, to just that natural nail. If you get it onto the rest of that product that's on there, that's fine too. But you're gonna go through all 10 nails, protein bond one coat, come back, protein bond your second coat. And now we're gonna re-sculpt that nail. Okay, so going back to basically your original application. Get your form on there, pinch those tabs together nice and even. Get that form up under the nail. Pinch together underneath so that we keep that really nice, nice tight curve under there. We're going to build out our extension again. So just like our original nail, we're gonna build out our free edge. I'm just gonna bring that right up to my product that's already on the nail. Okay, again, right up to your sides. Come all the way over to the other side, tuck in on your edges. I'm using the side of my brush to kind of press that in. And then I'm gonna bring that down to the point of my extension. Okay. So again, just like we would be rebuilding a full set. Now keep in mind, this is pretty close to a full set. It's actually a little bit more work than a full set because you have to deal with the product that's still on there. So when you're doing this service, you wanna make sure that you are charging more than just your regular fill or rebalance, okay? This is a clip off and re-sculpt, so I would charge at least what you would charge for a full set. It is going to take you a little bit more time, definitely more product than just a regular fill, so you want to make sure that you're charging accordingly. Okay. Now, once we've got that on there, again, we're going to come back, and again, just like we'd be doing our original full set, I'm going to take my pearl, drop that down at my cuticle area, press that out, and I'm going to angle that finger straight down to let that product flow down the length of the nail. Blend out that edge, keeping the bulk of your product right in that stress area. Now you may not need a lot of product right in there because we do have a little bit from before, but just make sure that you've got enough to build up your stress area. Then we're gonna come back with one more blending pearl to blend in that free edge. I'm gonna take out just a little bit of my liquid on there and blend that up to our arch. I'm gonna come back through, blend that product in and pull forward to finish the nail. Okay, again, as this is setting, we can now go back in and again, pinch in that C curve if we need to once it gets to that molding stage. Okay, you guys, so these are some of the challenges that I had when I started doing um, stiletto nails. So hopefully a little bit more information for you here to help you guys do your stilettos a little bit better. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe to the channel.